So last night's class was tough. Uh, Randori classes or semi-free response classes are always tough. The transition from doing things from a uh, recipe where it follows step one, two, three is, you know, it's hard to do them by itself, but when you take those parameters off of really saying, I just want to see this and show me this and show me your response and how you would act and asking people to use their own creativity and stuff. Not that they can't do it. It's just different. It makes it very hard and for a very long, frustrating class for people. But I want to tell everybody they did really good last night. They did really great. It is, um, Miss LeBay and I and all, all the black belts in the past have gone through this and uh it's one of those little lessons and to kind of go on and see what you guys have learned from the kihon hapa was was great and uh, we're going to keep doing it uh, just so you guys really have that solidification of what's going in there so without any further ado here are the notes from last night's review of kihon hapa with semi-free response okay mate okay so that's just a little bit of insane so this week uh we're going to be looking at kind of reviewing the kihon hapa in terms of the application and this is really kind of, it's going to be like your class, you know, to kind of um, invent and come up with, you know, what you see needs to be done. Now, obviously, I know some of you guys haven't been through the whole Kihon Hapal, and that's fine. We'll come around and kind of help you out and kind of give you a little more structure. But for the guys who have actually been through and seen the whole Kihon Hapal a couple times, basically what we're going to do is we're going to give you an attack, all right? And then we're going to tell you one of the three stances to start in. And then we're going to start with and finish it off in one of the three wrist locks. And then we're going to change it up. And we say, okay, start it in this stance and end it in one of the three um, arm locks. Okay? So for the ones that you remember, we'll do just kind of a quick demo here. So we obviously have Ishimonji, we have Jumonji, and we have Kicho. Those are the three stances. All right? We have Multi Gyaku, Ur Gyaku, and Hong Gyaku. All right? For the arm locks, we have Onikidaki, Mushizori, Musozori, and then the very end of Okay? So we're going to split them into the stances, the wrist locks, and then the arm and you know, the arm locks. Okay? Does that make sense? So we're going to start off simple. All right? And we're not going to show you anything. Because typically what happens is when we show you what we're talking about, invariably that's what you do. You're like, oh, we want you to create in this class. All right, I want to kind of see how you can take this and start making your own. Because as this whole thing comes together, I really would like to see you guys say, listen, I have the confidence that if someone comes after me, I can get this dance, I can get this arm lock on, I can get this arm, I can get the shoulder lock on. All right? And we want you to come out of this whole phase of really having that feeling that, hey, I really got something out of this. I can feel that, if I get that, I can get it in the multi. I can take that arm lock. I can, get, I can be defensive. I can actually get in there. Does that make sense? All right. So the attack, the first attack, is going to be a right lunging grab. All right. The first stance you're going to use the jishimoji, and the first wrist lock you're going to use is the multi All right. So you're going to pair off, and I don't care if you go inside, if you go outside. Okay. I don't care if you have to throw a kick and throw a punch and get in there. I don't care. But during what you create, I want to see an ishimoji. All right. And I want to see an emulsi yaku. Okay? Does that make sense? And again, for the people who haven't seen everything, we'll be around to help kind of give you a little bit more parameters to play with. Okay? All right, so let's pair up. Let's go. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to have a volunteer to show what they've got so far. Mr. Jesse, yes. hands up. Nice. Well done. That was really good. 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 Anybody else want to show anything from their group? Okay. Um, Jesse, inside version. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same thing? Yep, same thing, just do an inside version. Okay. Good, nice. good, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Okay, so, same emoji. All right, inside, outside, over there. Uh, Gyaku. Ending. Okay? Remember Ur Gyaku? Alright, so now same thing, but you're in the multi, you're in the Gyaku. Can I see an example, sir? No. No, because then you'll do my example. You need to create this yourself. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the same 
back. Same as Jumonji, inside or outside, I don't care. Hongiyaku, all right? Hongiyaku, all right, the third, third, third. And again, if you need to add punches or you need to add a kick to the leg or something like that to soften them up, go for it. All right, I want to see those two aspects. I want to see the Jumonji and I want to see a Hongiyaku. Okay, make sense? Go ahead. Okay, Matak. I'd like to see this group. Each of you. Yes, sir. Show me a version. Please. Mackenzie, Matt. Matt. Show us what you got. Yeah, nice job. Nice job. <laughs> hey, Matt, you too. <laughs> nice try. Nice, nice. Again, don't let's forget those ishimojis. Go ahead. Once we get to the Okay, Mate. Okay. Mate. Let's see, who do we want to put on public display this time? Mr. Yeah, Prince. and Mr. Prince, definitely. That's right there in the middle, so we all can see you, Mr. Prince. Ishimoji Hongiyaku. Go ahead. All right, let's say. So who hasn't shown us anything yet? Mr. Brown. Let's bring up Mr. Cray. Do something real quick. Okay, good. 
So guys, that was great, great work. Obviously, you guys get to kind of go in with one of the points, you guys get to touch, you guys can touch, you guys can roll up the game. And so, part of this is A, for us to see how much in your artistic expression, you know, you, you've seen how much is being retained and what you're, what you're remembering and stuff, that's part of it. Part of it is seeing like, okay, what, what can I come up with? What can I create with? Hey, I'm not gonna go after this, I'm gonna go after this hand, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna look at this. Um, and then also too, the character is actually kind of making it up as you go. You know, we're not giving you follow this, follow this, follow this, follow this, do this, all right? And just giving you loose parameters to work with. So some of the things that we just, just let you know, and this is again, not a comment on anything that people were doing, um, but just really just to help add in kind of to further the aperture of things that you're seeing. So everything that we did had an Ishimori in it, right? Everything we did, it was just, we changed the hand grip, stuff like that, we changed the attack, but everything had an Ishimori. Now, everybody at this point, like, everyone who went off the side getting defended. Great. Wonderful. No problem. Comes in, everybody out there. Go here, instead of just hit and stuff like that. The one thing, too, that we can actually use on Ishimori is that can actually be forward. So see, comes in with that right here. Here. Alright. So now, I'm on this point, I'm going to hit here. Alright. Is we can actually use this going forward. If we did that, uh, grab. So as we look on these, we look at usually Jumanji is always kind of a forward advancing thing. Jumanji can actually do kind of the same thing. All right, that makes sense for everybody. So we don't always have to, it doesn't always have to be backwards. It can actually just be in, it can be invasive. That's we start taking balance right from the get go. All right, Mr. Leo, anything you don't have to play? Uh, no, I think that's plenty okay. to jump off. Yeah. I think on the wrist walks, I saw a couple people still getting on the fingers. Really trying to make sure that wrist lock's good. I mean, so that, you know, that the hand grip is good on that. I saw a couple people here. I saw a couple like this. Stuff like that. Let's really, let's get those solid. Okay? On the whole knee out, let's just get those solid. Fingers over here. Boom. Alright? As much as possible. And the next time we go through it. So, so the point going through is Ichimoji can be forward advancing to start with his base if need be. And make sure your grips on those wrists are good. On those wrist locks. Make sense? Okay. So now we're going to switch it up. Uh, one, two, one, one, two punch. One, two punch. Uh, I'd like to see a Jumanji response. I'd like this to also include Muso Dari. And uh, if you went through the Ken unit this summer, I want to see at least one Ken. Okay. If you don't remember what the Kens are, you didn't go through the Ken unit, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. But if you did, you know, I would like to see one of those in there. So again, it's a one-two punch. All right, let's do it. It's going to get left, right. Yeah. So ah, left, 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 left. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, left, left, it, so left one, two with the cross, uh, or left two with a lunge. I'm fine with either. And there's going to be a Jumanji in there at some point in time. All right, either on the one, two, one, both, I don't care. All right, and then there's going to be a Mousseau story, the overarm. Okay, make sense? Alright, let's get to work. Hold on. Nice, get faster, get faster, get faster. Alright, one more volunteer. I'll do it. Alright, yeah, get up there. Just it defaults to you if nobody raises your hand here. You're the highest belt here. Yeah, it's yeah. the privilege of being brown. Belt it. Good, 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 good. So as you can see, we've kind of upped the ante a little bit. All right, we made this more difficult. If you go to games with most of the from Juman, you actually requires us to kind of close space. So that arm is not easily gettable. All right, you have to kind of throw things. So Mr. LeVay threw that pen in there. So if you do, man, you go in there and Jumanji, you're gonna have to hit them to actually get them into a spot where actually throwing that Muso Dori will actually be uh, attainable. If you're just kind of crashed up with them in their arms are here, that, that is a very hard Muso Dori to get. That's why you threw the pen in there, all right? So now, same thing. All right, it's gonna be a one, two. All right, but now you're gonna do a mushador. All right, the under arm hook. All right, that's the muso, the over. This is the one here. Everyone remember? 
Barbara? And Barbara says, oh, this is different. So, no, 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 I can't demo it. I can't do it. It's got all the features, it's got all the features. It's this one. Okay? All right, so now, from that one, two, with the Jumanji in there, you got the first one, you got the second one. Again, kids are encouraged. All right, we're going to find ourselves into a Musha story. Okay? Make sense? All right, this is getting more and more difficult as we go along. And that's intentional. All right. We want to see, we want to see where things are breaking down for you guys. All right, go ahead. You're doing very well though. At some point in time, we got starting to get tired. I you guys going to about an hour and a half, you know, without us talking at this. You're going at it straight. And also on top of that, you, you're thinking and creating and stuff like that, as opposed to going through like, hey, do this, do this, do this. I'm going to correct you on this a little bit. So we're putting you through a more mentally exhausting and physically exhausting clock. Okay, so when you get to that point in time in your training, break it down into bigger moves. So this is what happens with typically a teacher pattern. It's okay, I'm supposed to do Jumanji, so there's still kind of, oh, so short this, and I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, oh. Well, I didn't do any of the technique in that, right? So because of my effort to conserve energy, I didn't really do the Jumanji. You know, I wasn't really, I, I got smaller. You see that? So instead of doing a Ishimonji and then a Jumonji and then coming back and getting into that Musho Dori because I'm tired, it wound up being. So I don't have that. So what I'm saying is, where do you start to get tired? Instead of making it smaller to conserve energy, make it bigger to gain efficiency. Okay? So, okay, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm gonna go Ishimonji. Where you do more. Okay. That way you'd be have more success the first time through going through the technique bigger than multiple failures trying to conserve energy, shortening up your technique. Does that make sense? Alright. Alright, go ahead guys. You're doing well. You're doing very well. Not bad, not bad, not bad, okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, so we're getting again more complex. So we're gonna update you a little bit now. So I want to see actually a one, two, all right, with the Jumanji, with the Gensaka Nage. All right, so remember Gensaka Nage? Gensaka Nage. If we start down, I can't demonstrate. It's just like that Muso Dori. Yep. So you're gonna walk into them. Oh, okay, that's gonna suck a nugget. Alright, so think of getting into that Muso Dori, the one that we just did. But instead of coming back, you're gonna walk into them, offset them, turn around, throw them on your head. Okay? So if you can take the one that you just did from Muso Dori, you can alter the ending to go into that you're talking about you're doing. Does that make sense? All right, go ahead, let's get it. New partners, please. Uh, what if you use, again, different kamai or set up different positions after the first strike? That jab could be coming in and you could be here. This very, this changes everything. Uh, from there, and I'm, seeing a, I'm seeing a lot of folks challenging right up front, and I just want to let you know, there's more options. There's more options, and if they help you, that's a good thing. See, play with it, explore it, keep going. Okay, mate, 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 mate. Mackenzie, please, please bring your father out here and show us that. Not bad, not bad, nice job, nice job. Stay right out for the show, stay right out for the show. All right, so, I want to, we're going to change it up and call an audible on this. All right, because you guys are you guys are looking good, but you guys are be going straight at it for about an hour and forty minutes. All right, kind of a common theme that we're starting to see is you're getting tired. Hey, the, the the your techniques are getting smaller, as I kind of mentioned before. All right, and what also too is you're losing the connection with the person. You're trying to do the technique and hoping it just works. You're shortening up the technique. You're trying to you're not really paying it. You're trying to lose the attachment that you're having to the hook. All right, and just say, oh, I gotta go here, I gotta go there. It doesn't work. I'm gonna shorten up that, and it's just, it's, it, you're, 
your, your success rate that you had earlier in the day is not quite the success rate that you're having right now. Now, granted, on top of that, it's getting a little more complicated here. All right, so we've already increased it. So let's look at just something that just, just we're gonna do is our time, basically, I move that side, just kind of getting to know the attacker and just kind of feeling the movement between you and your attacker. All right, so I got Jesse here. And it's kind of taking this to that old man, and he's grabbing, he's gonna grab his gear, he's gonna apply some just put my hand up. And I'm just gonna put my finger right in his ear. Hand here, in here, wherever. Now, I'm just gonna move. I'm gonna put a little pressure in here, and I'm just gonna move. Right, I'm not doing anything, I'm, I'm giving him a little, little pressure on this bicep. But really what I wanna see is I wanna look at this connection between me and Jesse, and how we can just move up. All right, so give him a little pain right here, just to kind of get that movement. But really, I'm, I'm trying to get you to get a better connection with you today. I'm trying to make the movement easier so we don't potentially like throw some of these spine out. All right, so we're gonna put Brown against the distance. He grabs, he punches over from the hand up. I'm just gonna put this thumb right in here. I'm gonna put this hand right here. I'm gonna dig in here a little bit. I'm just gonna walk. All right, just to start. All right, all right, just to start. Does everyone understand? The goal of this is just to create a connection and a flow with the person. To take out that, well, I gotta fix this, I gotta fix this, and, and getting out of your head and just feeling what it's like to move around your point for a while. Okay? All right, go ahead. Hey guys, it really helps to be okay. It's an important word for us to remind ourselves of, but uh, uh, Mr. Mr. White, actually, if I can say this, you're over here. Uh, holistic movement. Uh, everything's kind of working together a little bit, you know, we're moving off, we're, we're trying to make sure that everything's sort of working together, whether our pressure is here, we're hitting them in, in, in a direction that makes sense. If I'm trying to like pull him this way or hit him this way, it's almost defeating what I'm doing. I'm creating all this tension. Oh God, now we'll have to totally, totally change it. But everything about what we're doing now is just listening, feeling. He's not fighting me back. And then, hey, now we're, we're, in a happy, we're in a happy place. I just want to make sure that that's what we're working on. Yeah, this is about listening again and getting yourself into the right position and such. And again, the reason why, Let's go back to that last one we did back in second night here. Right, I'm coming at you. Taking that feeling and kind of going into that hard, that Juman. Mm -hmm. It's like that stuff in mm. That, that's, we need to flow through that. And what we're seeing is people were just trying to make it happen. And they're losing the connection with the person. And in doing that, you notice he did it big, he did it fully. You know, and there was a connection between him and I. All right, and that's where we're starting to lose, and that's why I want to get back. Does that make sense? So the reason I selected this was because it's very, the goal is, again, I mentioned this before, good technique isn't something you just do. Good technique is done. All right, if I do the technique, and I do this on Aaron, and I do the same exact physical technique on Jesse, one of them will work, the other one may not. Because I need to be in a different space. I need to have a different connection. They're a different person. Right? Does that make sense? Same physical movement may work on you, may not work on him. Or vice versa. Alright? This, this little movement drill, if I try to do it to you, will not work. But if I have it done to you, it will work. Alright? And that's what I mean. One is the, me doing it is me trying to force a technique down his throat. And having it done to him, it means that my movement and my flow is in conjunction with his body movement and his technique is done and manifest. So if I try to just do this, come punch. It doesn't work. It's annoying, it hurts. It's annoying, yeah. <laughs> but if he just grabs punches and I just, yes. I do nothing and he falls down. All right, but the connection has to be there. And that's the reason we're doing this. We're trying to reestablish that connection with each other. Okay? Go ahead. <laughs> Hi, Monte, guys. Bring, bring it in for a second. Bring it in. Um, this, this is going to sound maybe a little odd way to put this, but uh, I assume everyone here is head on a hike out to a stream or a brook. Right? You get out to a brook and you say, wow, it's a pretty brook. I want to just sit here and listen to this. You go, okay. <laughs> hey, that's not how you do it, right? You relax, you just sit back, you take it in, you let yourself, you, you're not just hearing the brook anymore, you're hearing the fringe, you're hearing the wind in the leaves, all this stuff. This is doing that, okay? This, this is trying to do that. I want to see you sit down and with somebody's body, write a haiku. <laughs> okay? Uh, 
just for like the last couple minutes that we're doing this, we'll let you guys off the hook here in a second. Um, this, this is not, we're not practicing right now the fight, fight, fight part. This is the peace, listening, movement part that is kind of a soft skill that you have to have. Um, I just want to give you guys that maybe the picture as you, as you finish up these last couple minutes because uh, that's kind of half the point of this. Uh, you have to be able to feel what's happening in their body to do much with it. So slow down and don't, don't, don't be afraid to sit down and listen to like the, the, the leaves, okay? <laughs> please, please stop getting out your, your, your ear horn to, to listen to them. One, two, as the attack. Jumanji at some point, again, you can use any kama you want before or after, I, I don't care. As long as it ends with the Gansaki, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with what I'm seeing. But remember to listen. Maybe it'll help this time. Yep. Let's give it a shot. Maintain the connection. So it's not going to go over here. We're coming in. Yeah, wow. Well, 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 I want you to live, live that. I feel like connection with the partner I can do this time. Okay. Are, are everybody's antennas turned back on? Yeah, we're yeah. Oh. Yes, <laughs> 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 That's okay. Yeah, I really get it in there. It's a staticky it's thing, but I kind of get it. It's okay, guys. It's AM, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that was frustrating. All right. But good job. Good job. Good job. So, that was part of it. Randori or... or you know, undefined stuff and stuff like that is really fun, all right? Because now, of course, like, okay, I gotta follow A, B, C, go here, go here, go here. Like, oh, okay, now maybe go A a little bit over here, B a little bit more over here, a little more C on this, and you got it. And I'm giving you a recipe and you follow it, right? You always talk about ingredients and recipes, all right? I'm giving you recipes, I'm following you step by step, but ah, you kind of skip step two, go back to step, make sure you do step two, do step three. Well, now I'm just saying, we'll make your pasta for your bear. And you need noodles, and you need some sauce, and you need whatever the primavera stuff is. is so what you're right? saying is this is a great root baking show of martial arts. This is, this is, except, except I'm no boss, so I'm a breaking root. You get some yeast, you got some dough, you know, and then you can make a salad. All right? I'm not giving you step-by-step -step instructions. I'm giving you the technical challenge version, you know, which is, you know, do it, bake. That's it. And that's hard. That's very hard. Because now I'm asking you to tap into something that I haven't asked you to tap into now, which is your creativity. All right, before everything I told you how to be creative, I told you what to do. But now I'm asking you to make it for real. And that is hard, all right? So, don't be frustrated. Please, don't be frustrated. Randori is probably one of the hardest things that we do to give up on. Just because I'm asking you to use something you never use all the time. You guys did very, very, very well. All right, you may not think it, but trust me, me and Mr. Levin were watching people do this for 20 years, and you did absolutely wonderful, okay? Now, the point of this, too, was to see, you know, what I have, what have you seen? Do you remember how to bake bread? Or you're like, oh, I'm pretty much, I, I'm good with buns, but man, you give me anything more into a flat of milk, I'm just kind of screwed. All right, fine, that's good to know. That's good for us to know where you're at, because now we can adjust to that and go forward, all right? really want you guys, after we've just spent six months looking at this, to leave and to say, man, I, I, I feel like I really got this. I feel that if someone comes at me and grabs and stuff like that, that I know I can get out of the way, I know I can put a strike back, and chances are I'm gonna have a wrist lock in there I'm not very proud. I really want you guys to have that. You put in a lot of work and you should be able to, and we should be able to get to the point where you have that. And you're very close, all right? So we're gonna keep kind of looking at this a little bit, all right? We may reframe how we're looking at it. We haven't gone through like Kicho, we haven't looked at some of the other stuff, all right? We haven't looked at all these after and done some more graphics, all right? And we're gonna keep doing this so you guys feel more comfortable just actually creating on the spot, all right? You did all did well. You got a lot more at that set. Oh, a lot, 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 lot more at that set. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you want to add, Mr. Levin? Um, you know, it's it, it's really funny because even as even as a teacher, te it's very tempting to want to show you something. But as but it, but repetition is going to be the death of your creativity, mm -hmm. right? But like we're not we're not asking you to reproduce something. We're asking you to just hey, you know, you don't go out. And sometimes, uh, sometimes what's going to come back is well, not going to be your best work. Uh, ex accept it, but then learn mm -hmm. from from why wasn't this work my best work, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, we we think of one thing, especially as you get tired. You know, mm -hmm. hey, listening. 
uh, you know, trying to maintain a sense of a sense of real connection as opposed to trying to, you know, we're telling you, for example, we want a Jumanji, we want a one two, we want a God Seki Nage. But anything else that you guys are doing as, as part of this is, is fair game. Mm -hmm. As long as long as we have those in there somewhere. So remember, you can move left, you can move right, you can advance, you can attack one limb or the other, you can stay inside or outside. You can use an entirely different Kamai to start to start something up. You can use an entirely different Kamai to end. Um, and what and I almost want to say next time, uh, I would love to see some more avant-garde artists uh, coming in and trying and, and, and trying some even some weird stuff. Like uh, like okay, uh, I mean Picasso somehow did it. Yeah. <laughs> so if, if if he could make a career, you know, drawing things and watching or whatever the heck he did, <laughs> I'm alright for it. Um, you know, that, that wouldn't be bad, but don't be afraid to take those risks and, and try to experiment with that next time. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna add to that, you know. So obviously we both encountered this personally you know, coming up, you know, how do you get from transitioning from being, well, I can do anything you show me to do to, oh wait, now I have to just create something myself and I don't know what the attack is. Hard learning process. Even if you just tell me, okay, the attack's this, do, do one of these things, like, ah, and I'm going through the catalog in my head of, okay, if the guy wants to do this and I have to end up in multi gas so that's another target, and I'm, and I'm basically digging through my mental notes to try to figure out how to do it, other than just having it happen. Right. And I think probably a lot of you guys did that. Like, what is this? What should I do from here? When I was going for my black belt, one of the things that we do in black belt is we have, you have to get attacked by knife guys for about, it seems like about three hours, but it's really probably about three minutes. All right. And I was sucking at it. Just sucking at it. Because it was, I didn't know where these guys were attacking me from. They come from here, they come from here, guys come from this angle, guys come from this angle. And it didn't have the time to go through the roller dice. Go, look, he's attacking me from here by the rope thing. I need to move off the side, do this, because didn't have the time. And I was loving up, messing up, messing up, messing up. The only time that I ever left here totally frustrated was during one of those nights. I just kept getting stabbed and stabbed and stabbed and stabbed and stabbed. Took off my belt, threw it on the ground, and walked off. I was so pissed off at myself. Okay? And it's like, okay, well, either I'm going to give up or I'm going to figure this shit out. All right? So basically what I did for me, and this is kind of the, the goal for you, is to figure out how do you get over this? What does it take for you to get over this, this hurdle? And for me, it was like, okay, get out of the way. Don't be there. All right. Find two hands on them. Once I got two hands on them, I didn't say where they were. I could figure it out and I could take them down. Now I had to figure that out. I had to figure it out. And for me, that worked. Okay. Um, it may not work for you. You'll have to find this out for yourself. What can transition you from being martial to being an artist? All right. My recommendation is go bigger, give yourself more space. Give yourself more space, give you more time. The Kamais work. All right. We know that they work. All right. Trust the Kamais. Don't try to beat them. They're smarter than you. All right. Use the Kamais. Do them well. All right. Hit. If they're not where you want to be, hit them to where you need them to be. All right. A couple knees and then a couple punches to the head do wonders. All right. Now, that may not be the best result. But you'll figure it out, and that's kind of the point, is how can we actually transition from these things and make them work? And so part of this is experience, is you have to ask yourself internally, what can I take to get over this? This was intentionally supposed to be hard for you guys, mentally, all right? And I think it was. So you guys, trust me, you did very well. All right, it's all part of the experience. Good job! Thanks, <laughs> job, guys, what's up? Uh, I got